There's a lot of different brands of dual color filament out there, but which one should you get? I went ahead and got a really unknown brand of filament from Amazon the other day. So come with me, let's go ahead and unbox this thing, take a look at the filament, print some things with it, and we'll see how it turns out. Hi, I'm Eric with Try Not To Break Anything, and today we're gonna try some filament from Mind A Hand, or Mind and Hand. So let's take a look at their Amazon page. They're offering a four pack of 250 gram filament spools. So in each spool, you're gonna get two different colors combined together so you can 3D print with them. I got the filaments that included blue, rose red, purple, yellow, bold red, and blue red. Uh, at the time of this video, they have 4.4 stars, and they claim to have filament that doesn't tangle, doesn't bubble, and doesn't clog your nozzle. So Mind A Hand is a company that actually manufactures filament for basically anybody. So just because you're not buying filament from Mind A Hand, you could be buying Mind A Hand filament from another company using a different label. So I thought it'd be interesting to see how Mind A Hand filament actually performs in a printer. Look, these are my opinions, guys. They're not paying me to talk about mind to hand. I just bought the filament, wanted to show you guys what it was all about. So let's get into it. So here's the box that the filament bundle came in. The packaging was simple. It's got the label in front, mind to hand, 3D printer filament. Mind and hand, I guess. One thing I noticed when I opened up this package is how nice the inside of the box smells. For whatever reason, it smelled nice. This box came with four rolls of filament, all with different colors, and they were all each a quarter of a kilogram, or 250 grams. This bundle actually came with a stick of 3D printing glue, which I thought was great. It's always nice to get more than what you asked for. All right, as you can see, all the filament spools were vacuum sealed. Each of them have a silica packet, which is nice to keep them dry. Obviously you don't want any kind of filament getting wet during the shipping process. And if it isn't already obvious at this point, the spools are made of cardboard. So let's go ahead and crack it open and see what's inside. And take a look at that color. This is very vibrant. This is the blue rose red color that came with this particular bundle. And the colors just look amazing on the spool. Up next, we have the gold rose red filament from Mind A Hand. And package sealed, looks good. Let's go ahead and open this one up too. All right, let's take a look at the colors on this spool. So just like the other spool of filament, this one looks amazing as well. It's just so vibrant, it's so bright. It just looks absolutely phenomenal on this spool. All right, up next, we've got the purple yellow filament duo. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see what we got. And once again, the colors just look great. The purple and the yellow just look absolutely beautiful. Notice how it's yellow on the spool though. And that's gonna be important to notice later when we actually use these filaments to print something. And last but not least, we've got the final duo, which is red and blue. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see what we got. That blue is just so powerful, and the way that the red accents it is just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful looking filament on the spool. All right, and now that we've seen all the spools, let's go ahead and see how they print. All the prints started off very well. I had no issues getting the filament to stick to the bed, despite it being glass, and I didn't have to use the glue stick that came included. However, I did have an issue trying to print the purple and the yellow filament. I got a nozzle clog, but I went ahead and took care of that. But I tried to finish the rest of the print, and it failed. And you can tell from the top right with the blue and the red, I also had a whole layer that just did not stick. All right, with all the prints done, let's take a look at them. So the first Benchy I made was the gold rose red print. And as you can tell, it kind of has this orange pink looking shimmery uh, color to it after the print was completed. I didn't have any issues with this print. Um, I really like the colors on this. I would probably order this again, to be honest, because of how nice it looks. 
and how simple the process was for printing. Up next we have the Blue Rose Red and I really, really love the way that this came out. The blue looks great, nice and shimmery, and then when you turn it around, it's got this pinkish hue, almost like a pink color uh, that I really like and it almost reminds me of bubblegum. All right, up next we have the purple and yellow. And as you can tell by this print, first of all, the way that it printed, it doesn't look like yellow to me. It looks a lot like a green, a very shimmery green mixed with purple. So I think the purple looked great, the green or yellow, not so great if you're trying to go for that yellow look. Um, as you can tell, this print failed. I had a clog during the print. I thought I could finish the print regardless, but there wasn't enough bonding between the layers of filament, so that kind of fell apart. Luckily, I had previously printed this earlier, but I didn't like the way that it looked, so I tried reprinting it, and that reprint is the failed print. And last, but certainly not least, we're talking about the red and blue filament. What happened here during this print is that there was a kink inside of the spool filament, so my extruder could not pull in any more filament at the layer line that you see there where it's actually separated. It was self-correcting, thankfully, but at the end of the day, it did have a kink in the spool, and that's something you should consider if you decide to go and get some filament from mind to hand, or mind and hand, however you want to say it. So, what's the verdict on mind to hand filament? Well, I would definitely say give these guys a try. This is gonna be great for anybody who wants to buy several different rolls of different colors of dual color PLA filament, but don't wanna to commit to buying one large roll of dual color PLA filament, uh, and they wanna try a bunch. So definitely if you're looking to try out different colors, wanna do different interesting types of prints, go ahead and check out Mind Hand. I think it's a great deal for what you're getting. For today's video guys if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and if you've ever tried mind to hand filament and have your own experience with it don't be afraid to leave a comment uh, in the comment section uh, if there's anything else you want me to go ahead and review as far as filaments extruders nozzles you name it i'm open to the idea leave that in the comment section as well and lastly if you like the content that i'm making or want to see more videos that i'm putting out in the future videos that are gonna be a lot more interesting than a filament review. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate you all. All right, take it easy.